But yeah. here's the big thing, right? Is it okay to mistreat your Tesla bot? <laughs> <laughs> That's the big question. Define mistreat. I know, right? I mean, here, I mean, I'm going to be real. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be upfront with you all. I'm going to be honest. Okay. <laughs> I mistreat. You're nervous? Yeah. Why? I don't know why I'm even more nervous for this one than I was for the first one. Even. Probably because now people know you did one. Yeah. And now you feel like people are watching you. <laughs> yeah. And the expectations are high. Yeah. <laughs> You're really nervous. Yeah. The frig. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Hold on. I'll, I'll breathe. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> if you do pass out, it will be good content. It will be, yeah. It's okay. Our co-host passed out of nervousness <laughs> <laughs> in her second you, podcast. You can, you. All right. Welcome back to Shaked. I'm your host, Derek Van Shake. With me, we have our co-host, Gen Z, ZZ. How are yeah. you doing, ZZ? Good. You're I'm nervous. nervous. We we're just talking bit. about that. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Like you're more nervous now <laughs> yeah. than you were in the first one. Because people saw the first one. Well, so now you feel people, like people, people. are yeah. actually looking for yeah. your podcast. Because there was people, even my dentist said it you're too. Dentist. Yeah, he was like, let me know next time you have one out. He wants to see it. And I'm like, <laughs> oh shoot, okay. <laughs> you see, I actually mentioned this to you about I like with YouTube. You don't tell people you do it. And I think that's what actually made me even be able to do YouTube, you know, because if I had a lot of people that were watching or a lot of friends that were going to analyze and I knew that they were going to just kind of just make fun of me, especially guys, guys just rip on people, you know, and yeah, you're going to come across as awkward because maybe it's your first podcast or YouTube video or whatever, but still they'll get, you know, they'll rip on you. So at least girls, they won't do it to your face. To your face, anyway. They'll do it yeah. behind your back. <laughs> no matter how fake it is, they'll still be like, oh, no, girl, you did great. Or, like, you looked great. And then right. Like, go home and be like, mm, ew. <laughs> I finally decided to have uh, a performance review for Gen Z ZZ here. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. I don't want to work. Do you wanna, I do just you... want to make money. <laughs> Yeah. Typical Gen Z, right? Typical Gen Z, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, you're pretty. You know, you're you're loyal. You you, you want to do a good job and everything. It's mm -hmm. just that uh, some things that <laughs> I thought would come a little bit easier to you, they didn't. Didn't quite do that. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I hold back a lot, uh -huh. but I'm working I know. on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we've kind of had that discussion, right, mm -hmm. Z? Yeah. Like the last podcast, mm -hmm. you're supposed to edit completely, and then I was supposed to. I've even said in my last podcast, uh -huh. I was going to come in here and, and do everything I needed to do. And you're going to be in there <laughs> editing and it's all going to be done and we can upload. Nope. And then because um, I thought I showed you enough. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> I think you're just apprehensive. Yeah. I told her, you know, Gen Z, ZZ, <laughs> to uh, that you should start a YouTube channel. Yeah. At some point, you know, mm -hmm. and I told you this many months ago when you first started working here. <laughs> I said, it'll be really great. Yeah. You know, I think you would want to do a good job. And then mm -hmm. two, just I think it would be a good addition to what you're doing here. Yeah. You know, I mean, you have a lot to talk about, a lot to present, you know, and everything. And uh, what happened? I with haven't that, yet. What Not happened? Yet. Not what, yet. What's going on with that? Um, I'm, again, holding back a lot. <laughs> Heck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I mean, I guess it is a little intimidating because like you're doing so successful with your channel, and I'm. I haven't doing... posted in like months. <laughs> <laughs> still, even with that, you're still doing pretty good. So I'm just kind of like, uh, uh -huh. I don't know if I can get up there. I don't even know where to begin. It's just well, a lot of overthinking. Yourself. It's a lot of overthinking. I just found out you just got to do it, and that's mm -hmm. what I found out, even with podcasting whatever and that's why i started with podcasting um even at my desk and i know it sucked and everyone was just like what the frig is this you know why yeah. are you at your desk alone in the dark you know <laughs> what the heck how is this yeah. any different than your main channel other than it's just kind of watered down and a little crappier you know yeah. <laughs> people are saying that and i was like you know what i know i kind of agree actually it's not as good as my main channel and it's not much different than my main channel yeah. but it's just a matter of doing it. And that's what I saw the mm -hmm. value of. And yeah. I think that's that's like half the battle with practically anything, really. You know, we were talking about this. And I said there's three things you need to when you start a YouTube channel. First, you got to start. <laughs> Second thing is you can't stop. And third, you just got to keep improving. 
Three things. That's it. And I can almost guarantee you, you're going to be successful. Mm -hmm. Almost. You know, some people Wait, just aren't. Wait, don't tell other people. <laughs> <don't know>. Just <laughs> tell me. <laughs> no, I can tell anybody because 99% of the people we're talking about. Uh -huh. Remember we talked about this? Yeah. Everyone says, anyone who find out, finds out that I'm a YouTuber, they all find out. Yeah. You know what they say? Oh, you know what? I, I was thinking do about too. doing, you yeah. know, starting a YouTube <laughs> channel. And I always say, go ahead, start. It's free. You can do it. What's the problem? You have everything you need. Yeah. And then you just hear the excuses, you know, of like, oh, well, I, oh, da, 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 oh my God. And all those excuses, and I was telling you this, yeah. are all advantages. Every single one of those excuses are a massive yeah. advantage. Like, like someone may say like, oh, I have kids. I can't start a YouTube channel. That's an advantage. You know how cool it is to actually have like kids in the background and like crazy shit going on in your life? <laughs> That's awesome. That is content yeah. gold, you know? Mm -hmm. Or I have, a, I have a stupid ass job. Great. That's wonderful because you get to rant and you get to explain how stupid ass your job is. I think too many people write off their life as just being not anything worthwhile because they think they look at someone else. And they say, well, look at this person has this Lamborghini. How do I, don't, I can't make a YouTube channel. I don't have a Lamborghini. No, I've noticed a lot of excuses with myself, too. Like, and I tell them to you all the time. <laughs> you point it out, but other yeah. people are like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Then wait till it's No, done. no, I, I, I don't yeah. get, I don't yeah. let you get away with shit. No, <laughs> I know, which is good. Yeah, yeah, I call you out. <laughs> yeah. When I hear stupid shit, I call you out. <laughs> I know. I call out anybody, you know, it's just, you know, as you can imagine, it's just kind of my personality. <laughs> like you're not out just going after people. No, no, people. I'm the toughest on my own. So yeah. start or if you want, you don't have to. <laughs> no, I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't lose hope yet. <laughs> You maybe give me a couple more months. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I'm, so far you're on the list of people of like no, everyone else that I says, oh, actually, I was thinking of starting a YouTube no. channel. <laughs> you're on that list, 100%. You're actually at the top of the list. Because no. I see you so often and you, every day is a different excuse of like, <laughs> well, I don't do this, this, this. And I stop okay. badgering you. I don't badger you about it. I occasionally talk about it uh -huh. and you know, but I don't badger you about it. But still, I hear the excuses, and it's all yeah. BS. Okay, you know what? Is Our that part goal. of being Gen Z, too? <laughs> Stop, being, <laughs> Stop being so Gen Z, yeah. All right, I'll make it my goal next podcast. I should have made one well, video. We're going to all hold you to that. You will. Yes, every Shit. one of us, too. You just said that uh, future me to the world like, here. <laughs> future me is like, fuck you for that. And then now, exactly. <laughs> and then now... <laughs> and then Oops. now... Everyone can call you out if next podcast uh -huh. you don't come back with a video. Okay. Sounds good? Sounds good. All right. Uh -huh. Just make anything. <laughs> I say. See me on the next just make podcast. an intro po intro video. <laughs> just be like, yo, I'm making a video. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. It's going to suck. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Of course it's going to suck. Yeah. You know, it's your first video. <laughs> they all suck. You watch my first videos. I guarantee oh, yeah. you, and I say this all the time, mm -hmm. I guarantee you, starting out, I sucked more than anyone could have ever sucked. Facts. Even my podcast, when I was, you know, still, I was basically a full time YouTuber at that point, you know, and I was starting podcasts. They sucked. <laughs> they were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was embarrassing because we're uploading the old ones um, yeah. to, you know, iTunes and Google Store, all these other places the now. Old podcasts. Old podcasts. Yeah, yeah, we're doing that. And I have to unfortunately hear my old <laughs> videos, and it's quite painful. Yeah. If you're not cringing, after you just, you know, like a few months after you uploaded one, okay, you're not improving fast enough, yeah. generally speaking. Seriously, for all you out there that are thinking of being a YouTuber or anything in social media, <laughs> okay? If you're not cringing <laughs> after a few months, three, call it three months from the point that after you uploaded it, say three months later, you're not cringing, yeah, you are not improving fast enough <laughs> so oh, you're gonna cringe that. the point is you're gonna yeah. cringe it's okay <laughs> you may cringe right away and that's okay too <laughs> we also wanted to talk about a whole bunch of other things first thing is a little bit of afghanistan yeah it's quite fucked up over there yeah it's crazy what the fuck it's not fair well, i mean wait well it's not fair <laughs> no it's well, fine but what's not fair it's not fair what's happening to the people i guess i can say well yeah, yeah i mean yeah. life's not fair i know you know it sucks that a mm. lot of countries don't have the freedom that the united states has and it's not fair for like the last 20 years for the u.s troops to have been oh there too. yeah yeah because a lot of specifically afghan women and people in afghanistan some like your age type yeah. right you know gen z they don't know any better they just know a free afghanistan 
Yeah. And all of a sudden, Taliban comes in and be like, yo, uh, yeah, you can't show anything now. You have to like wear everything covered and you can yeah. only show your eyes type thing. It's just yeah. quite sad. Um, and yeah, we don't want to get too much into it, but I think there's a right and wrong way of pulling out. And no matter how much the government just wants to say whatever stupid shit they want to say, yeah. <laughs> it's botched. Yeah. I mean, it's fucking botched. It's a mess. I think just either didn't have the intelligence or didn't listen to some of the intelligence. You grew up in Iran. Mm -hmm. We say in America, Iran or Iran or how do Iran. You say Iran. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm just getting confused with my accents here. <laughs> so you grew up in Iran. Yeah. And how was that? Like, did you experience any like feeling of suppression of, you know, of rights or being a woman or different religion? Yeah, actually, it's like why we had to leave the country because that was one of the big reasons. Yeah, because my parents knew me and my sisters probably wouldn't have a right. proper education. Right. And you weren't Muslim. No. And I didn't grow up in a Muslim household or anyone in our family. Right. Um, and Iran is a Muslim country. Yeah, it's literally the Islamic Republic of Iran. Oh, well, there yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah, so, it is the yeah. most Muslim you can after, get. It's in the name. Yeah, after the Shah was overthrown, like even the flag changed, everything just is changed. It? And yeah. women have to cover? Yeah, it's the law. It's the law over there. Oh, doesn't shoot. matter if you're a tourist or have lived there your whole life, shoot. what your religion is. doesn't matter. So you will actually have the police come after you? Yeah. So yeah. the police will stop you? They'll stop you, arrest you, yeah find you whatever shoot yeah <laughs> what happens if you're like no i'm not gonna wear that on my head well, they'll throw you in a truck or in a the van, truck or a truck or a van whatever the cops have yeah they'll and arrest it, you there's multiple people it's more than just one cop <laughs> they'll throw you in okay. do they actually have a whole bunch of people <laughs> yeah that are dedicated to this or just average traffic cops are just like um, you know directing traffic and be like whoa wait wait a second <laughs> you look like you have a vagina <laughs> 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 Like, what's going on here then? I, I don't this? see. I don't see this. So you need to wear something on your head. Yep. That's how it That's is. That's it. Pretty much. Literally. Yeah. And the Taliban, they're saying like, oh, we're different. <laughs> Trust us. <laughs> we're not the old Taliban. It's the new Taliban. <laughs> oh um, shit. Nah. It's a shame yeah. that's where, where the country is is headed. But at the same time, you know, the United States can't be there forever. But it's sad how quickly it just turned, mm -hmm. you know, where now Americans are trapped, you mm -hmm. know, and, and people that help the Americans, you know, they're trapped, too. Yeah. So what do you do with them? And, you know, and the Taliban certainly doesn't want people like that to leave. And what yeah. I've heard is that the Taliban wants people not to leave because they need the like the smart people <laughs> to operate all of the, uh, the, the equipment. Air Force equipment. Yes, stuff, yes, yeah. the Air Force equipment and yeah. all the sophisticated equipment the United States left. They need smart people to do that, <laughs> and I don't think they're very smart. <laughs> I feel like the Taliban is just kind of these like in the hills, the mountains, and they're just like, yo, you know, we feel yeah. strong, more strongly about this than you guys feel about whatever you believe. So we're just going to take over the country. Yeah, I think that's kind of. It's kind of what it is. And I don't think they're very yeah. educated, you no. know? So they just know how to, like, pull a trigger and aim. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> they're left with all this, like, equipment. Air Force. <laughs> and they're like, oh, shoot. Yeah. How the fuck do you turn on an F-15? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think that's part of it. They, yeah. they need some good people, like, that's, that are smart and actually know yeah. something <laughs> to operate some of that equipment. <laughs> they should send over... Some of the Tesla bots. That's the next thing. That's over, a good segue. Yeah. That's what we, we want to talk about, too. We could too. use that <laughs> to, what? Set, to send those over there. To oh. Take over the Taliban. Maybe. Yeah. And it's funny how, like, Elon Musk in his presentation, remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, one of the first things that he says in his whole presentation is, like, assuring people that, one, you can overpower it, and, two, you should be able to run faster than it. Like, it yeah. was like, you know, you shouldn't have that much of a problem if the thing happens to malfunction or not like you. Tesla's, you know, people don't know, are, are making robots now. Humanoid type robots, like actual human looking robots yeah. that can walk and pick up things like humans. He's saying it's going to take a year or so. <laughs> I'm guessing more like three or four years. Elon's a little, usually a little bit more ambitious with his estimates. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we're Cybertruck. I mean, come on. And we're where's Tesla Roadster, okay? <laughs> I'm waiting for that stuff, okay? <laughs> Where is that? Would I want to see the Cybertruck out here. 
on roads everywhere where everyone's putting allegation down. They're getting their dang cyber truck. And I want a Tesla Roadster. You know, I want my I want to, you know, <laughs> trade my Lambo for a Tesla Roadster to no go way. zero to 60 for in one point five seconds. Yeah. Well, where is it? I know, right? Elon, <laughs> come on, buddy. <laughs> Where is the Tesla Roadster? <laughs> and also, I want to go to Mars, too, okay? I want to oh, take yeah, a vacation to, to Mars. Oh, yeah, that's supposed to happen, too. Yeah. What, 2025? Yeah. That's nice. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Very ambitious, which is great if you're looking for big ideas, okay? But come on. They sound great. <laughs> Let's see them. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> yeah. But here's the big thing, right? Is it okay to mistreat your Tesla bot? <laughs> I, 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 that's the big question. Define mistreat. I know, right? I mean, here, I mean, I'm going to be real. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be upfront with you all. I'm going to be honest. Okay. <laughs> I mistreat my Google Assistant. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Okay. Sometimes when I'm mad, I go and say fuck you to the Google Assistant. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like, hey, Google. Oh, yeah. fuck you. Okay, but when you said mistreat, like, my Gen Z brain went somewhere else. <laughs> like, What do you mean? Like, <laughs> like sexual? Like sexual. <laughs> oh, maybe sexual things can be done to you. To you or to the robot, the whatever. Bot does not have know. sexual organs, okay? I'm pretty sure of that. No, what I mean is, is that, like, just, like, crank this thing and just yell at it and just, like, you know, just kick it around if you're mad, you know? And just, like, have yeah. it as, like, a punching bag. It's it okay. It's not soft. No that fucking, I'll punch a Tesla bot. You will? <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> just shove it. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> Can you cuddle with it? It would be terrible. I would be so lonely. <laughs> Just cuddle. That would be weird it's as a fuck. piece of metal. That would be weird, ZZ. <laughs> you don't cuddle with a robot. Cuddling with a Tesla bot. Yeah. That just sounds like really terrible in every way. It would hurt. I feel like, I feel like, no, I just feel like the Tesla bot would be capable of it. Because you know Elon would do that. He would fucking do that. Nice. He would actually program it to be a cuddling partner. <laughs> nice. But... It's just going to be saying just things you, you know you just want to hear. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want it to talk. Don't talk. But you, have, you have to tell it, though. You have to oh. at least tell it. Be like, hey, I want to cuddle. And be like, I will cuddle Why with you, you now. Push it. I think you're cute. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. No. If it's going to talk, I don't want it. <laughs> Same with I think it would be weirder if it just starts cuddling with you. <laughs> And it doesn't talk. Well, does it come with an app? <laughs> when he talks? You just cuddle mode. <laughs> it's like cuddle mode. Yeah, exactly. And then it just like, isn't that it creepy gives though? You a hug. No, no. And then it like kind of walks to your bed. <laughs> At five miles an hour. And then he starts laying down. It's fucking weird. No. I don't know. I would want to try it, but I wouldn't would like you? it. Yeah. You would? Fuck yeah. You don't mistreat it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll beat up my Tesla bot every day. Do I'm just it. a Tesla bot abuser. Sure? <laughs> I wonder if it's gonna be programmed where like <laughs> it'll tell on it'll tell Elon. No. Like, signal <laughs> him, be like, he's abusing me. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean like I, I don't know if I would specifically, but I feel like I'm prone to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because I abuse my te my you know, Google Assistant every day. I mean, as long as it's every day. I mean, it's okay. pretty terrible. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's really bad, guys. Like, anytime I'm mad, it's just all at the Google Assistant. But you have to tell us in the comments. Yeah. Would you abuse your Tesla bot if you had a Tesla bot? Or cuddle with and it. You, no, we're not cuddling with Tesla <laughs> bots. Or, we'll we'll you try, said it. try it. We'll try it. Of course, we'll try it. We okay. won't like it. Cool. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to like cuddling with a Tesla bot. You don't know that. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> it's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> what is the other thing that's going on? I just want to cover a few things. Jake Ooh, Paul. We were watching, yeah, that Jake, Jake Paul Jake Paul is hopefully going to get his ass whooped <laughs> by Tyrone Woodley. <laughs> oh, I would pay to see that. You I, should see it. You if, if I knew, if I knew he would actually get his ass whooped, mm -hmm. like 100%, I would pay the pay-per-view on that. Well, do you think he will get his ass kicked? I'm always wrong on this. 
So, <laughs> <laughs> all of your predictions have been wrong. All the of them, all of them, because I just rely on like Jake Paul being a man child, insecure little boy. Doesn't necessarily mean he's going to get his ass whooped when he's in the boxing ring. He's just a, he's a man child, the, the problem man child. He calls himself the problem child for some yeah. reason. <laughs> I don't know why you would possibly ever go with that name. You know, you're just coming across and want everyone to know your child. And it's just, I don't know, it's a terrible name, I think. You know, yeah. it's not like a macho name where you can kind of be like, yeah, you know, yeah. the destroyer, you know. <laughs> it's no. Jake. The poop Jake. Oh, the problem <laughs> child. Hopefully we all get to see that, at least in the highlight reel. Because, of course, I'll watch in the highlight reel. I'm just not going to pay him because I feel like I'm paying Jake Paul, yeah. you know, to see him get knocked out. You know, which, yeah, I would like to see. It would be awesome to see live and, you know, all that kind of thing. But I don't want to pay Jake Paul. I don't no. want Jake Paul to get money directly from me. <laughs> Who do you think will win, though? Who do I think will win? Yeah. Oh. I think it's pretty close to 50 50. You think so? I think it's pretty close. I think, I think Tyrone is. You think Tyrone? I, think I so. want him yeah. to win so badly, but you I do. can't let that get in the way. And I'm always wrong about this, so it doesn't matter what I say. <laughs> I mean, what's the point, really? I'm always wrong. <laughs> yeah, Jake Paul's body language always says that he's insecure, and he is. It doesn't necessarily mean that he's a terrible boxer or a worse boxer than the other guy. Mm. You know, in every boxer that, or every fight that Jake Paul has ever competed in, literally every single one, it was their first actual boxing match ever. It's crazy. I'll go through the list for everybody, right? Deji, okay? It was his very first. It was KSI's little brother. Deji was an amateur fight. Gib, okay, it was his first fight too. Nick Robinson, and then it was Ben Askren, and then now it's Tyrone Woodley. Every single one has never been in a boxing match, ever, you know? And it's like, come on, guy. And I said this in a podcast, I think it's one of my more recent podcasts. You've got to stop calling yourself a great boxer or anything like that if you only box people who that are not never boxers. boxed before, yeah. <laughs> ever. They've never been in a boxing match. I mean, you can't call yourself that. It's just bullshit, you know? And I'm curious to see how good he is. Clearly, he's better than just a, you know, like an amateur. Mm. You know, he's somewhere in between amateur and pro. But if you keep boxing dumbasses, you know, not dumbasses, <laughs> but, you know, just people that never boxed before. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and some people, like, really never boxed before. Like, get, like oh, pretty much everybody. Literally, now as I think about it, every one of them. The only one that is actually can call themselves a puncher, mm -hmm. like a striker in, in boxing or MMA or any fight, is this current one, Tyrone Woodley. That's it. And that's why everyone's like, oh, the biggest challenge Jake Paul has ever got so far. Everyone else was a freaking cakewalk. It was easy. <laughs> you know? Ben Askren, his prior fight, mm -hmm. Jake Paul's prior fight, I mean, he clearly didn't take it very seriously. You know, I thought Ben Askren was going to take it a little more seriously. But when I saw him in the weigh-in with the shirt off and he was just this, you know, dad bod, I was like, dude, man, you really did this? <laughs> oh, man. I was like, oh, this is not looking good right now. He makes, oh, goodness. You know? And, he lost. and And I tweeted that, too, you know, to make it clear that I was like, oh, I don't feel good about this anymore. <laughs> Clearly, uh, Ben Askren did not take it very seriously. Yeah, and Jake Paul annihilated him. I'm not really going to spend too much time thinking mm -hmm. about it, but I do wish... <laughs> to see Jake Paul get a, get his lights yeah. knocked out. That's what I want to see. I I can't imagine much more joy for me than to see Jake Paul get his lights knocked out. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Like like you know, I, I think I think it has to do with his his douchebag personality. You know, <laughs> he's always been a douchebag, and then yeah. more recently, people from his high school came out and talked about it. You know, we we're like, yo, you know, Jake Paul. Like, he was, like, the shit crappy person of high school and yeah. the bully of high school. You know, Jake Paul's talking about, like, oh, I'm anti-bullying. Didn't you say, like, even in high school, before he was, like, all famous and everything? Yeah, in like, high school. He was, he was like, a bully. Yeah. He was what flat he out do? just a douchebag bully. He'd, like, steal stuff or something. Actually, Logan mentioned this, um, I think, that, yeah, Jake Paul was stealing iPhones from his classmates and selling them through a whole, like, gang of, like, you know, this inner, you know, high school gang, you know, where they would look around and try to steal kids' iPhones. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, you were one of those? <laughs> you know? It wasn't just like, oh, you know, I sometimes make fun of stupid you know, people and, you know, and there you go. No. 
He's like a real like dumbass. Yeah, so quick update on the studio. We did a few things, right, ZZ? Yeah. But, uh, no flat panel TV here. Pretty cool. It looks really cool. Yeah, this part was like really lacking before. And what's really cool is you can actually, well, if you see my mouse or whatever, um, you know, it's part of the computer. We so, can show stuff. Yeah, we can like pull up things and show things, which is really cool. We have like a guest and they talk about their Instagram. We can pull up their Instagram and kind of go through it and we can see it. Yeah, <laughs> it, it kind of really like pulls it all together, I think. We can show TikToks. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you can show TikTok. That's right, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> What else did we do? Obviously, oh, so we did the planner. Yeah. We didn't show the planner yet. We These have, are new. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we have the like cactuses. the grasses and the cactuses. Yeah. And maybe yeah. what we'll do is do a whole uh, like a studio tour when we're pretty much done ish mm -hmm. here. You know, we could do like a whole studio tour. Let's do it. Yeah. Did you add that to your vlog? Yeah, it'd be on the vlog. Nice. So if you're not subscribed to the vlog channel, you can see that. And the vlog channel, what we also mm -hmm. showed is the uh, coming together of all this, mm -hmm. of how it was all put together and how it worked and all the craziness that went on and how it was a lot more difficult than <laughs> I ever thought. <laughs> and, and some of it too, you know, is getting it right. You know what I mean? I mean, you kind of know what I mean, though. Yeah. Because before you guys saw it and you're like, well, what else did you have to do other than put up a TV? We want this place to look good because we also want to have guests over and we don't want guests to be like, oh, you kind of like, it looked okay on camera, but it's kind of shabby. No, we want it to look really good. You know, mm -hmm. That's the whole idea. You know, and also I think we want to be proud of it too. We have a cool place that's that we didn't just have yeah, all us. together. Yeah. yeah. And it's not just like, oh yeah, that part was kind of shitty. Oh, this no one could see, thank goodness. Oh, we gave you a shelf. Yeah. That's really cool. Thank you. We have an alien that's possessed, alien skull. Yeah, some other cool things we're gonna be adding to it. Mm. Yeah, we just want to have like a really cool vibe, kind of like more futuristic type mm -hmm. vibe. We're also planning on getting a lot of really cool guests. Yeah. We're working through that right now, right, yeah. ZZ? Yeah. So that's what we got. So if you're not already subscribed to that Shake podcast, remember to subscribe for more of these podcasts. And we talk about current events and some other things that are going on. Some really cool guests, psychology, yeah. some behavioral sciences, criminology, body language, and everything like that. <laughs> so if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you, or we'll see you <laughs> at the top. <laughs> there you go. Ah. Yay. Did I look whack? <laughs>